informative, time-consuming, sleepy, tedious, revealing, detailed, mind-numbing, painful, menacing, exhausting, arduous. 50 Richest Project uh, summed up in one word would be unique. So 50 Richest is Roll Call's real old school investigative journalism. So we download every single form to get a ranking of the 541 lawmakers and where they rank and how rich or how poor they are. Essentially, lawmakers have to disclose ranges of their assets. And so what we try to do is take all of that into one place, distill it down, and give some information that I think is of real value. Going through a financial disclosure form was a little bit different. It's sort of like rifling through someone's personal files. The forms came in two different ways. They could be done electronically or they can be done in a handwritten format. Handwritten you were at the mercy of people's penmanship, which is always hard. There are so many members of Congress that keep it local. They are investing in local bonds, their own home states. A lot of them are still collecting pensions from states. Maybe they were a state lawmaker previously. A lot of them have very, very large mortgages on very large homes. Many of them have homes in their home state and also here in Washington. Again, the, you know, these people are making 100, you know, 50, 160, $170,000 a year. Uh, most people in the United States are not going to feel bad for them. But when you have somebody who's worth potentially billions of dollars and then somebody who's worth maybe a few hundred thousand dollars just within the same congressional delegation, it's kind of a striking contrast. The top 50 members of Congress is surprisingly bipartisan. Uh, most of the, most years it doesn't fluctuate with more than two or three uh, members from one party outranking the other. With the current disclosure rules, you're, you're sort of caught in the middle of, of not exactly knowing where these people, uh, you know, where their actual financials lie. There's this very generic category of over one million dollars in assets. If money is in the name of the spouse, it's really difficult to get an accurate read on how much money they might actually have. Then the other issue is, is there's a lot of members who have assets, you know, that were within the range that they just have so many assets that when we count them, um, you're getting a, you know, a, a drastic undercounting of, of what their actual wealth is. It provides a, a unique view and unique insight into members' uh, biographies, histories, family narratives, and also professional experiences. It's just a, it's something that the American people should know. Thank you.